What you see before you is an absolute mess. So this video is going to help you fix this mess. I'm going to talk to you about rulers, getting guides, lining things up to guides, and then finally the magic of the alignment window. Okay, so we have here 16 green boxes in complete disarray. How are we going to fix these? Well, we're going to pull up the ruler in a minute, but before we pull up the ruler, I want to show you how to change the units of measurement that are used within your document. So if you go to the file menu, and by the way, you could actually can set this up when you set up your file originally, but if you didn't do that, you can go to the file menu, pull down to document setup, and right up here in the top left, you will see units currently is set to inches, but what if I decide, you know what, I want to do millimeters. I want to be European. So I'm going to choose that, and I'm going to click OK. So obviously nothing changed on the screen because we don't currently have the rulers open. So let's remedy that little mess. Go up here to the View menu, pull down to Rulers about halfway down, and then you will see show rulers is one of your options. Keystroke for that is command R, which will toggle the rulers on and off. So there you go. So I'm gonna resize my page here, command zero, so I can see the entire artboard. And uh, now let's get a guide in here so that we can start arranging things. Oh, but what the hell? What the hell are millimeters? I don't even know how to use those. Uh, oh, God. Okay, I guess I'll go back to inches. Um, so I'll bet if I just right-click on the ruler, it will let me do that. So that's a nifty little trick. Groovy. So I'm going to pull down to inches here. And now there is an archaic measurement system that I am comfortable with. Okay, so first of all, I'd like to pull a vertical guide in, and you pull your guides in from these rulers. So if I put my arrow just right in the middle of that ruler, so the tip of the arrow is in the ruler, click and hold and then drag, I will pull out a guide. So I'm gonna pull that to about one and a half inches right there. And then say I want these to line up horizontally, I'm going to pull this guide also down to one and a half inches. Oh, let's live a little. Two inches. Yeah, feeling it. Woo! Okay, so there we go. So I can now take one of these squares and I can pull them into position. Now you'll notice my little squares are doing this nice little snappy thing. And so that is good. That means that something called snap to point is currently on. So if I go to my view menu again, pull down here, you'll see snap to point is currently checked. You'll also notice that smart guides are currently turned on. I recommend you keep that on unless it starts getting in the way, then you can turn them off. Command U is the keystroke. Um, so I'm gonna keep pulling that in. So you'll see, you see those little pink lines? Those are the smart guides doing their work. And you'll see it's telling me that those are now lined up centered to each other. And I can go ahead and pull that in. Okay, so how am I going to get this one to be exactly the same distance in between? Hmm. Look at that. Right about there, it is telling me that you currently have equal spacing. So I'm going to let go of that. Now you can see as cool as this is, it was easy to get the guides in. That Snap 2 feature is uber groovy. Very and the smart groovy. guides are certainly very helpful. So if you just have a few elements, you know, I tend to stick with guides or just let the smart guides do all the work for me. But I got a boatload here. And so I would like them to all be lined up in a straight line, all even, and have the absolute minimum of effort because I'm lazy. Let's be frank. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these guidelines. So if I go back up the view menu and pull down to guides, you will see that here are some choices. So by default, your guides are going to be locked, meaning that when you pull them in, they'll be stuck to the page at that point. Now you can go in and unlock them so that you can easily move them around. So that's personal preference, whatever you like best. I also have the option to hide the guides where I can temporarily turn them off 
they're still there if I want to get them back. I just go back to the same place or I pay attention to the keystroke, which in this case is command or control semicolon and they return. But if I know I'm done with the guides, I'm just gonna pull down here and choose clear guides. And that gets those guides right out of my way. All right, so here we go. Now, how can I take this mess, some organized, but mostly not, and bend it to my will, so to speak, with just a couple of clicks? Is that even possible? I don't know. Oh, it's possible. So I have now dragged a marquee around them with my black arrow tool to mark them all. And you'll notice here in the properties window that something called align shows up. Now, if this align for some reason does not show up in your properties window, you can always get that from the window menu right here. And then it will show up as a floating window. But most of the time it will show up right here where you want it to. So this first little icon here with a menu gives me the choice to either align to the selection, align to a key object, or align to the artboard. So I tend to use the top one and the third one quite a bit. So if I choose align to artboard, and then I go, you know what, I'd like all of these things to be lined up on their left edges. Nice. Um, they're kind of all bunched together and stuff. And besides, I want them to go across the page. So I'm not sure that's really that great. But um, okay, let's go ahead and click on this one, which will align them all to the top of the page. Oh my goodness, what a disaster this has turned into. Okay, well, the important thing is to keep our cool. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put this in the middle of the page and uh, then kind of figure out something from there. Hmm. So I know like all those squares are there, but where the heck are they? So if I pull this one, and I'm holding the shift key to drag it in a straight line over there, and then I say take this one and pull it over to here, and then I mark all of them by dragging that marquee wonder if there's a way to make this work. Now this has nothing about distribution. This is just a lining. So let's open up. You see these dots right here? That will open up the full alignment window. And you'll notice that distribute all of a sudden is another choice I have when I'm in the full menu. Now what I want to do though is not necessarily distribute this relative to the page. I want to distribute these relative to all of the boxes I currently have marked. So I'm gonna go back up to this first icon and I am going to choose align to selection, meaning it will align to itself. Open that window up again. And this time you'll see this will distribute them vertically. This will distribute them horizontally. So it will base it on the left edge of the objects, the center of the object or the right edge. Uh, truth be told, it's, it's a square. It's none of these are gonna make a difference. So just choose one, I'll choose middle and voila the magic has occurred so obviously if i hadn't have been talking it would have happened much quicker but still i think you can appreciate